Hi, I'm Sydney. Hi, I'm Jessica. And today we are going to prove that plants give off oxygen. The purpose of this lab is to prove that plants give off oxygen. Some background information is the formula to make a successful fire. The formula is oxygen plus heat plus fuel. The experimental question is if we put a plant instead of oxygen, is the plant equivalent to having a source of oxygen? The controlled variable is the jar that does not have a plant in it. Our hypothesis is, if the plant gives off oxygen, then the fire will last longer because oxygen is essential to the formula of fire. The materials used are two mason jars, a plant, a lighter, two candles, and a stopwatch. We also did a second experiment to prove that plants give off oxygen. The materials we used for this one was a measuring cup, water, and a green leaf plant. The steps are as followed. 1. Gather materials previously said. 2. Place the healthy plant into one of the mason jars. 3. Carefully place one of the candles into each of the mason jars. 4. Light the candles with the lighter. 5. Place the lids on the mason jars. 6. Start stopwatch. 7. Make a note of when the first and second candle goes out. 8. You are done the experiment. This is where Sydney and I started the experiment. These were when both candles were lit and then we closed the jars. We are waiting for the candles to burn out. The candle with no plant finally burned out. Here is the process to conduct experiment number two. Take your measuring cup and fill it up with water, about halfway. Place your green leaf plant into the water. Now wait for about four or five hours until bubbles form. After waiting six hours, we noticed that air bubbles were forming on the leaves of the plant showing and proving that plants give up oxygen. The jar that had no plant lasted 39 seconds before the candle burnt out. The jar that had the plant lasted 45 seconds before the candle burnt out. This experiment proves that plants give off oxygen because oxygen is of key importance to keep the fire going. As soon as the oxygen in the jar with the no plant was used up, it burnt out. The jar with the plant was able to stay lit longer because even after the oxygen was used up, the plant gave off oxygen. We also observed that condensation happened in the jar with the plant because the, ox the plant was giving off oxygen. Our second experiment also proved that plants give off oxygen. It proved this because when we put the plant into the jar, there were no air bubbles. But after four or five hours, there were a bunch of air bubbles forming on the surface of the plant, proving that oxygen was being given off. Sources of air. The lid of the mason jars would pop and at the same time the fire would go out. And also if the plant wasn't receiving direct sunlight, then the plant couldn't photosynthesize and give off oxygen. The experiment supported the hypothesis because the hypothesis was that the candle with the plant would last longer than the one with no plant, and the experiment proved that. Other questions are if there were more plants in the jar, would the candle last longer? Also, what if the jars were larger? 
After creating this YouTube lab, we were able to figure out how to prove an experiment on our own. Thank you for watching from Sydney and Jessica.